Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. If you are here, bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and welcome to game number six of season three. Now, if you guys want to see the beginning of everything, the thing that I'm talking about right now is that my roster has changed after game number three. I want you guys to start from game number four. If you're barely getting here, go to game number four where everything actually started. My defensive players, you know, the new ones, Luke Keekley, Levante David, Anthony Barr on offense, Demarius Thomas, uh, Doug Martin, Marshall Lynch, and Anthony Davis all made a change. And now it's pretty much showing on my gameplays how improved my offenses, uh, offensive style, and my defensive style has improved. I'm not talking about the styles that says up there in the top right corner. I'm talking about my offensive scheme. They have improved lately on Ultimate Team. It's been tremendous. I, I accept, you know, this is hell, a hell of a team after all those pickups. So go back to where it all started and uh, you'll see how the team just excel from that moment. So anyways, going on to the gameplay, one thing I would like to say, I don't tolerate bullshit. And what do I mean by bullshit? Play action, trying to scramble with a quarterback, play action rollouts. I dealt with this on season one and it's not going to happen. It's not. It's just it's just not. So what I did is that um, what I did was uh, I contained the defensive ends, and this guy had to stay in the pocket after two sacks. That's changing somebody's game, right? That what really you know set the tone for the rest of the game. You know this guy just wasn't ready to change this offense because his offense apparently was consisted of scrambling towards the outside or play action. So I changed it, and a nice run by Doug Martin. Still doing a hell of a job, this new Doug Martin of BCA edition. And, um, you know, I just can't believe I finally got him. I, I wanted this guy since season two, but I never had enough points to buy him. So I finally got him, and damn, he's doing a hell of a job. And now he's putting off more bullshit. This time he's staying in the pocket. And I'm like, yeah, all right, good job, bro. Staying in the pocket, stay in the pocket, bro. Don't, don't roll out. Don't, 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 no, no. Oh, you rolled out? Jadavion Clowney, go get him. You ain't crossing that line of scrimmage. I'm containing both defensive ends, which allows him to just gain negative yards he ain't gonna scramble that's one tip guys if you guys see a scrambler like Kaepernick, Russell Wilson, uh, Michael Vick contain your defensive ends and BAM this guy got his ass whooped by who was it? Levante David? was it Levante David who tackled his ass down? I think it was Mike Adams damn apparently it was a combo Jason Morrow with a nice pulse route towards the outside I can't believe you know, this guy's still doing a hell of a job, uh, 85 overall, you know, I believe I don't need somebody else better. Well, actually I do, you know, I really want to pick up uh, Gronkowski, he's one of my favorite tight ends out there right now in the NFL. Um, more more often to play is T.Y. Hilton wide open down the middle, trying to play man against T.Y. Hilton is pretty much dangerous since he's one of the fastest receivers out there in the NFL, so, yeah, you're going to have to, like, watch out with T.Y. Hilton over here, I like to throw it to him a lot of times. Um, Nice play by this guy. First time he's not rolling it out. He's actually staying in the pocket. You see how your offense actually upgrades opponent? If you stay in the pocket, your offense is going to do more more better. Much better. Look at this. And I forgot to actually contain my defensive ends there. <laughs> he got me on that one. So I was like, alright, let me contain him right now so he won't scramble out. And there he goes again. He didn't learn his lesson, apparently. Good job, Jadavion Clowney. My defensive ends did a hell of a job. My defensive lineman is still improving. You know, they still... Doing a hell of a job out there, sacking and uh, bull rushing and everything. Is I give props to my D line. They're doing a hell of a job. And nope, nobody's open. No bullshit for you. So what's gonna happen now, guys? The guy ended up disconnecting. You know, for sure he just turned off his PS4 because goddamn, he couldn't do shit on offense. I took him out of his game. He couldn't scramble. He couldn't play action. That's an example of changing somebody's game. Containing your defensive end so he won't scramble. That took him out of his fucking game. You're always supposed to have a plan B. I have a plan B when my stuff don't work, so. I actually have three plans, so. Yeah, pretty much to be prepared for every kind of situation, guys. So that's it for now, guys. I ended up winning pretty much of a nice record right there. 5 and 1. 14 to 0. I beat this guy. If you guys want to see more Man of 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe for more. And also, if you guys like the series, make sure you leave a like for the support. So, I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.